Alright, so um, this is the Dynavin MOST unit. I've got it installed in the W211 E class and um, I've got the optic fiber, um, obviously, hence getting the MOST version. Now, I'm happy with the unit, it, it, it installs fine, the, it's a very flush install. The, um, the physical of it, physical looks and the way it fits, blah blah blah, all good. The uh, main issue I'm having is audio issues in regards to the Android unit, um, operating system part of it. Now, this unit here, you get your normal menu, which is this, to get to your radio, your mobile phone, iPod, SD card, auxiliary, whatever, whatever. Um, that's just a general what you can say is probably a Windows CE 6.0 operating system but the manufacturer doesn't tell us tell us this um, personally I don't like I don't like this and you the, the point of getting an Android unit is the flexibility of being able to go into Android and use the Android operating system to listen to your music to whatever because obviously that's the whole point of this unit and um, so anyways the um, if you look at the just the general CD player which is just as you can see is just a um, it's a very generic MP3 player. You, you don't get any equalizer settings. You don't get any flexibility with your music whatsoever. You just get a, a shuffle and a rewind, repeat button. That's it. Um, it's, it's the same player as you can find on those cheap Chinese DVD players. If anyone, I'm sure most people bought them back in the days. So, anyways, for me, that's no option. I, I refuse to use this um, use interface. So, in, instead, I just use my. Um, Android, which if you push navigation it seems to take you to Android because um, that's where your navigation software is. So um, what I did is I installed a um, I installed Winamp I inst and, and I'm using the factory, the, not the factory but the default Android player as well. Either way it works. Um, you can put music where Android operating system can find it, not via the MMC slot but via the navigation because that seems to be hardware in a, in, a, in a hardware connection connected to the Android operating system. So if you put that in there, it will pick up whatever music you have on there. Um, now the the, uh, the main issue is, if, if say I'm playing a song, um, I'll just play whatever, it could be an old school song, I don't care. Um, so, at the moment you can't hear anything. Um, if you, it's hard to see because it's white on white, but the volume saying it's 10, still nothing, 18, 20, you can just barely hear the sound. 28, 29, now you can hear it, 39, now that's the highest it can go, it's not high at all, the volume's not high at all, um, I can adjust the Android unit to give more volume, but what that actually starts doing is, it starts causing the, the, any sound coming out of the Android unit to be clipping, so if, you, if I turn this up to about half, and try and listen to a song or someone speaking, you actually hear their voice crackling and clipping, because this this Android unit is amplifying obviously the sound and it's getting and it's sending it to this unit the main amplifier built in into this which is then being amplified again so you're, ampl you're double amplifying a signal causing it to clip so the sound clarity becomes horrible so I normally have it about medium about you know quarter or so now and I listen to it now the sound is okay it's it's not great um, the, this car was equipped with the Harman Kardon um, audio system, the 7 channel, whatever it is. And, um, yeah, the, the sound quality dropped dramatically. But, look, I'm, I'm happy with that's a gamble I want to take because I would like the flexibility of having the Android operating system. Um, so, now, anyways, um, the other issue is because I'm trying to turn this up to at least enjoy while I'm driving because that's not way near loud enough. Um, let's put a better song. There's a mixture of everything. Wow. I'm sure we're gonna have something about from the classic. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get something good here. Oh wow. We're here. Anyways, so if I turn it up and say a song has a silent bit in it, listen to this. You hear that wine sound? That wine sound is always there. When a song is playing, you don't hear it, but if a, if a quiet part of a song comes in, you hear that sound. If you change tracks, you hear that sound. I mean, that's, that's just unacceptable, period. Um, 
I'm not quite sure what the deal is. Maybe there's a um, noisy component in there. Maybe it needs more ca um, noise cancelling capacitors in there or something. I have no idea what this unit needs, but that's just unacceptable. Okay. Um, my understanding is this is happening because I'm trying to amplify too much and I'm running the amplifier in overtime just about being on 39, which is the highest. Yeah, I mean, any, any audio feel will know you don't have an amplifier 100% duty cycle. You try and keep it in a, a nice medium pace, so that way you don't exhaust all the components. So this sound is just unacceptable. Now, there's other ways I thought of going around it, and that's not using the optic fiber loop at all in this car and just running my own amplifiers, which it used, which is normally the um, only way to run these units before um, Dynavin started releases the MOS. And um, basically, instead of using the optic fiber loop that they give you to add, you just disconnect these RCAs and just run these exten extension cord and just run them to your um, amplifier and just use it that way. Now, the issue with that is, if I was to do it, um, you can't, surprisingly enough, and I, this has got me really, really lost, if I connect them to another amplifier, I don't get volume control of the Android unit at all again. Uh, in fact, I don't get audio control of the other operating system before. It's either zero, which is max volume, or uh, one, which is max volume, or zero, which is absolutely silence. And I don't understand. There must be something internal they've done with the um, the setup of the unit. So the um, so I thought, okay, well, bugger it. I won't use the um, RCAs. I'll use the audio out because this unit has got 50 by 4 so you could just go to the normal... Um, Let's see if I can get this light. It'd be nice if I can get a light. No, I can't get a light. Okay, so um, no, because this unit, okay, this unit comes with 50 by 4 um, built-in amplifier. Meaning, if you, it's really hard to see. It's quite useful. But see these wires here. They're amplified. 50 by 4 you got your front right front left just like in any generic head unit so you get your four um, four sets of twin cables where you got your plus and ne um, plus and negative whatever for each speaker so I thought okay well bugger I'll use them and I'll connect them straight to the speaker just straight to any speaker in the car even just brought a spare one just to see if I get signal through them fair enough I get audio of the original operating system but I get zero audio from the Android head unit um, so there's there's connectivity issues with the built-in amp and the Android operating system. I'm not sure if that's a software issue, maybe it needs to be updated for the entire unit, but I should be able to. So if, if someone does not have MOST and bought an Android unit, all they have for an option is to connect these wires. Now, that means they won't be getting any audio whatsoever. So, therefore, you know, flagging the unit as being faulty. Now, there's more options you can try and do other ways to try and get the unit running and that's through a there's a hidden menu which there's an instruction in the box that comes with the um, unit tells you how to get to and that's if you go to navigation so settings you go to system and you go here it gives you an amp option and it's by default set to optical for the MOS and if I change that to you got none you got common Common and none are the same. Um, the difference between none and common, common doesn't amplify as much. It's for cars that already have amplifiers, which this car does, but this is a totally different thing that I'm talking about right now. So if I go to um, none, go back, you play with the volume a few times, that initiates it, it kicks into the whatever new settings it's got. That there still doesn't do anything. Um, I can control the volume of this this unit here, anything that plays via this interface, I can control the volume of fine, even via those cables, which are the preamp and the RCA cables. But as soon as I go into Android, I get nothing. Um, in fact, what I get is at zero, I get no audio. At one, I get max audio. I mean, maximum audio from the Android unit. If I keep playing with this, it won't affect anything at all. all. The only way I can adjust the volume is just by touching this, which is very, um, you know, unacceptable. You would not do that because why else do you have a volume button here? Um, so, long story short, what it looks like is either this unit is missing a major um, programming, for, um, a major programming part between to interact the Android unit with the built-in amp of this. 
so that way whatever's being played really whatever's been played through the Android unit you should be able to hear via these RCA cables via the preamp so in case someone wants to um, decides not to use the RCA cables they can just hook up speakers to these cables and use the 50 by 4 amp because at the moment you can't use that you get no audio you know things like that and um, if if these are fixed this unit is is really perfect because you'll be able to you can do anything you can pretty much this unit will be as they are stating for it to be a complete you know android unit you can use it and enjoy but for now for the time being the fact that you can't actually listen to your music at a good quality rate or even adjust the volume of the android it, to me it sounds like um, and you know no disrespect to Donovan being a, a you know a German company but this is very low quality unit uh, I'm actually questioning how good the Chinese versions of them which are $400 will be because even though they're not Android at least they run an operating system specifically made for these units so you can get you know um, equalizer settings all, all the flexibility of having the whole point of getting having Android in there so um, these these are the issues I hope it makes sense because it's going to be impossible to try and write on paper what the issues are but just to recap straight away um, just off the bat um, you got the preamp cables the four of them for the front left front right rear left rear right um, if I connect them I get no um, no audio from the Android unit whatsoever um, if I use the rear RCA outs, I don't get anything from the Android unit whatsoever. If I use the front RCA outs, I get Android sound. And uh, but like I said, it's so low, and I get that whine, that constant whine on high high volume. It's just so damn annoying. I could be just sitting in the traffic light between song transitions or even a quiet part where you only hear vocals, and all you hear is damn whine the whole time. Um, yeah, so they're they're all the issues. Um, I'm hoping that this is a software issue and not a hardware because it's going to be a pain if it is a hardware. And um, yeah, I hope to hear back from the um, the seller who I got this from, and um, we'll see how things go. Thank you.